Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a scroll view. Now scroll is quite handy for stuff if you want to create something like a really good looking menu or if you've got a little bit of extra content that you can't fit on the screen you can place it in a scroll so it's nice and easy for your users to simply swipe their finger across the screen and reveal extra bits. So what we're going to do is go straight away in Xcode, go to File new project it's going to be a view based application for the iPhone and we'll name this scroller simply save that let's wait for it to load up ok we'll make this bigger so we can all see now you go straight into our classes file and in the scroller view controller dot h we're simply going to want to put IB outlet UI scroller view your scroll view sorry space little star and we're gonna name this scroll scroller so it's nice and simple and easy to remember and that was semicolon save that and then we're gonna go straight into our resources file and go to the scroller view controller .nib where we are going to place our scroller now in this scroller I'm going to place a button at the top of it and at the bottom of it so when we go into the simulator it's easy to see that it, well, the scroll is working and it is scrolling up and down so we're going to go want to place in a scroll view just here, I'll just make it bring it up a little bit ok then so at the top of the scroll view here Place a round rect button. And we'll name this top. And then we we'll simply just drag that up a bit. Then bring the scroller down again. To about there. And then place you know, another round rect button at the bottom. And we'll just simply name this one bottom. Nice and simple, so very easy to understand. Now if you're creating anything like this, a scroll view, you can place anything in there from images, text, literally anything to be honest. As long as you place it in a scroll view, then when you come to do some scrolling, it all works. So now we've got the button at the bottom, we want to simply drag the whole scroll view down so the top is at the top and the bottom you can see faintly at the bottom of my screen there so we just let go of the click there and then we simply want to go to files owner and to scroller just drag that onto the scroll view and then simply save and exit now we're going to want to um, write the code in to allow the scroller to know how far to scroll down and so on so if we go to our scroller view controller.m that's quite a mouthful to say <laughs> now we scroll down to <coughs> Oops, sorry. This part here, the implement view did load to additional setup. This part here, we just get rid of the little forward slash and sign there, and then the little star here and forward slash. They simply press enter a couple of times, and in the middle here, we're going to put bracket scroller space set scroll enable, and in this highlighted section here, we're going to want to type in yes then bracket semicolon enter and again bracket scroller space set content size and in this highlight section here we put cgs size make now in the first highlighted section here is the width of the scroller which at the moment we have set it to the full width of the screen which is currently 320 pixels and in this highlighted section here, this is the height of the scroller. Now, because it goes off screen, it goes quite far down. We're going to want this make this a lot bigger to enable it to scroll. So I'll just simply put this at a thousand pixels. And after that, we put a bracket semicolon, and we save that. Now, if we go to build and run, 
Let's wait for this to build, but there should be no problems with it whatsoever. So this does come in handy if you've got a lot of content that is you can't fit on the screen or you want to make like a fancy menu or anything like that, it's really really handy. So simply all you do now is you just hold down the click or if you had your finger and you just simply scroll up and there's the button and scroll down. All the buttons do work but at the moment they're not linked or coded to do anything. But there you go, it's that simple. So if you've got any questions, any tips on how I can improve the tutorials, so simply message me. Or um, make sure you follow me on um, Twitter and like me on Facebook. All the links will be in the description. Also check out the apps. I've got a couple of apps in the App Store now. That link will be also be in the description. But make sure, importantly, you subscribe as I've got many tutorials coming out and so on. But for now, make sure you like, rate, comment, subscribe, all those things. And... Um, Check out my other tutorials as I've got some really good ones already out and yeah, so I'll see you all in the next tutorial.